I made a video earlier talking about how zoom lenses are absolutely great and amazing for beginning astronomers. And I had somebody reach out to me in my DMs and ask me about this zoom lens, which I have here in the box, that they saw on Amazon for what seemed to be a completely unreasonably low price. And I was like, I don't know if it's any good or not. So I went out and I actually bought it. Boom, spent my own money. Here it is in the box. So I've actually taken this out and used it a couple times uh, out at night to sort of try it out, see how it looked on a couple different objects. And I'm gonna actually be honest, it actually does work. I am surprised. I got it for about $8, although I've seen them priced across Amazon up to like 80 bucks. Obviously for $8, okay, it's, it's not bad, it's, it's not great, but it actually works. And it does zoom, it goes from seven to 21, you can sort of see here, that's yeah, 21 out of 12. Okay, yep, reversing the camera. And it does actually zoom, like if I take the back off here, you can sort of maybe see it zooming there. Yeah, you can see sort of a zoom action in there. And it works at night. Now, however, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you go out and buy this over say, a regular Plossel or similar sort of uh, eyepiece. It, it works, like I will say it works, like, it works. So this eyepiece works, but that's about as far as I'm gonna throw it. In terms of like how well it works, it's definitely not designed with like 99.99% coatings, other stuff like that, that are designed to basically ensure as much light can go through it as possible. For that, you kind of have to go and buy something like this. And you can see just a size difference. This guy here, I think he retails about three, four, 450, depending on uh, which um, mark you have. This is Mark III. The Mark IV is definitely a lot better. If you can pick up a Mark IV, pick that up. I'll have a link on the up here, wherever, for the review I had on this guy here. But overall, this guy here works if you're absolutely on a crunch button budget and like 10 bucks is all you can spend. But it's not gonna have like the really good coatings, etc. So you are taking a light loss. And overall, it does zoom, but the zoom, it works, it works, but that's about as far as I'm gonna say. So actually, this makes a really good purchase idea for astronomers who do a lot of outreach. Um, for me, I've again been using the, the Bader lens here for outreach, because I'm probably silly, but for some people, especially if you're dealing with a lot of young kids um, that are looking at things, if you have your telescope close to the ground, et cetera, this is a nice eyepiece to stick on there. It works well enough that it can show the view, but you're not really worried that somebody's gonna like stick their nose into it or, you know, sneeze on it or lick it or whatever crazy stuff that kids tend to do with really expensive gear if you give it to them in their hands. So <clears throat> this is a great lens for outreach. I'm gonna keep this for outreach. Um, and I'm probably gonna use this for when I'm doing outreach, uh, especially at the beginning of the night when you have a lot of young kids, and then switch to the Bader once the older crowd comes in so that they're able to get that slightly better view, but they'll appreciate it a little bit more than kids that are just trying to learn how to look through the eyepiece because this eyepiece is actually pretty easy to look through. So that is one plus about it, is that it, it is a big eyepiece. If you are actually interested in buying this little telescope eyepiece because you wanna use it for outreach or maybe your budget is, you know, you got 10 bucks and you don't mind spending it, I will link below where I can find it for about $10. Although if you go onto the link later because pricing can always fluctuate, etc. on Amazon, uh, just just try to find it for the lowest price because yeah, it, it, $10, good buy, 80 bucks, bad buy. And um, I know there's a version that comes in that's black. It's essentially the same thing, it's just black instead of silver. Again, 10, 10 $12 is as most I would pay for this. And I hope that this video helps you save $10 if you're thinking of buying it. And I'll be honest, just, just go out and spend the 40 bucks and buy a nice Palossal. So, thanks for watching, subscribe.